everyone. Well, yes, once again, I am here, destitute and alone and sad, but never mind, I've got a vacuum cleaner to keep me company and this one I'm going to unwrap for you today is a very old girl, I think. In fact, it's so old, this particular model, I believe, came off the production line before I did. So that's how old it is. So let's have a look at this. Look how they've sent it. Look at that. I mean, it, they're pretty tough. They're pretty tough, these vacuum cleaners. And apart from, you know, it's been put in a black bin liner, but there is a bit of cardboard around the vital parts. A little bit of bubble wrap around the handle. I've no idea what this is going to be like, condition-wise, but normally they do clean up quite well, these old vacuum cleaners. Next time you see this, you haven't seen it this time yet, but when you've seen it, I'll show you how I've received it. Hopefully next time you'll see it's all cleaned up and polished and ready to do a bit of a demo. So we need to get out off all this black bin liner. Now what I did like about this was it looked all original. Now it's a Hoover Junior, as you know, but many Hoover Juniors you see on eBay or at car boot sales have had something replaced. Normally the bag that's one of the things that tends to be replaced within the life of one of these. Um, if the back has survived, often the flex has been replaced. But judging by the photo, it looked like everything was complete. The flex is the original brown color flex. The bag seemed original. Everything did seem original. And I can see the brown flex. Hopefully it's not damaged in any way, the flex. Often they are damaged. Sometimes they can be saved by shortening the flex a little bit and rewiring, depending where the damage is. If the damage is in the middle, then you're a bit scuppered, but often the damage is near the machine end or near the plug end, so you're okay. But hopefully there'll be no damage. Right. The chappy who gave me this on my door said it was a, that was an unusual one. I just smiled and says yes, but I know what it is. And that's certainly the chap who delivered this. May not have even seen one like this, who knows? Right, hello, welcome to your new home. I hope you're going to be okay. Now I did get this on a bit of an impulse and then I realised, oh, it's, it's not the one I'm, I thought it was. Now, some people buy vacuum cleaners. All sorts of reasons why people buy vacuums or collect vacuums and sometimes they like to get a vacuum that they remember their parents owning or grandparents. Now this one I thought was one my grandma and granddad used to own. I remember seeing it in their spare bedroom when we used to stop with them. Before the Electrolux 504 came on the scene. I still keep meaning to get one of those. But I think theirs had an orange front plate and this is brown. But it's, I think it's the same model. Anyway, let's have a look. Here it is, you can see a little bit better. I'm hoping that the zip is okay. That's something that goes on the... It, ooh. Wow. Well, if, if the condition of the handle matches the rest of the cleaner, I'm going to be one happy chappy because that looks in very good nick. Thank you to Stu for pointing this out to me. Well, thank you and not thank you. Thank you for pointing out, but I don't thank you for the fact that you cost me money. I wasn't going to get this, I wouldn't have seen it, I wouldn't have searched for it, but I, I belong to a group on Facebook. 
people who are a similar, similar interest to me. And this was posted up and I thought, oh look, that's one of those that my grandma and granddad used to have and I wasn't going to get it and then suddenly my finger hit the buy it now button and the rest is history. But, ooh, they've sent me some, unless that's, <laughs> unless that's, uh, I don't know what could that, what, what's in that bulge? I think they've sent me some dirt. Yes, it's plastic. Well. Oof. Apart from superficial dirt, I've not looked underneath. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with this. It's a, bit, a little bit different. I've never actually, all the years I've collected and coveted vacuums, um, I've never had a Hoover Junior this style that didn't have the height control. You see, this is missing the little height control dial. So I'm not sure if there's any sort of control underneath. Still got the old famous red on-off switch that was pointed out to me. Looks like a red Rolo suite. Still got that. I'm quite pleased with the condition of that. No plug on it. Um, we don't know if it works either. The seller didn't. There's a little bit of a thread coming out of the bag, but I don't know, that just probably cut off. The bag seems to be intact. The zip is intact as well. You know, they could probably have saved me a couple of pounds in postage fee if they decided to empty the bag. Anyway, ooh, that's the point, I can use this dirt Vintage dirt for my bag of filth. Wow. Oh, it's got that lovely smell. It smells like an old man's jock strap. No, it doesn't smell that bad. It smells like an old man's trousers. No, it's quite a nice smell. It's a musky vintage smell. It's not unpleasant. Oh, what's that? Is that shaken back or is that? Hmm, I think that looks very like Dyson, Di oh, not, what do they call that stuff? Not, not Dysolve, that's the um, in aerosol. That other Dyson powder stuff, it's like sawdust. Zorb, it looks very like Zorb. Ooh, that is a bit full, but... I believe these, yes it does. They've got a, a sort of a foamy thing stuck in there. I don't know what that did, I think it was a muffler possibly, to reduce the um, sound. I think later models, they didn't have that. Certainly my later junior that I've got, I'm sure it doesn't have that inside. Let's have a look. Eek. Not an, not, ooh. Not, not an original bag, of course. You know, that is quite full, honestly. If you're selling a new, a, a, a vacuum, not a new, if you're selling an old vacuum, folks, just empty the bag. Either empty the bag or dispose of the bag. Don't send it with dirt in it, you know. Some people might like that. But I, personally, would prefer not to have a load of dirt in my bag. But that zip, that zip is fine and dandy. Oh, that is fantastic. It, I think it's quite rare to see an original bag with a working zip, so I'm really pleased. Let's take the front off. Oh, it all looks, the belt looks fine. In fact, that looks pretty clean. Look at that. I'm really, oh, and I can, f the brushes, I mean the brushes, could be replacements, obviously. Wow. That is in, it's in really good condition. Now, obviously, I don't know if it works. I'd be very surprised if it doesn't work. I mean, the agitator's got a little bit of rust on. 
but I've, you know, apart from the new in box one that I I got recently, that's not bad at all. Yeah, I think the brushes would probably benefit from a replacement. It's a bit hard to see under there. I don't know if you can make out anything. Let's see if I can read it. Hoover model 1346. 230 to 250 volts, 40 to 60 hertz, 250 watts. Here's the serial number if you can date it. 1346807. 19308 Trademarks of Hoover Limited it'll, it'll say made in Great Britain a little bit of the stickers come off I'm, I'm, you know, it was an impulse buy and I thought I'd regret it it's not going to need a lot of work providing it works but looking at it, as I say, it's not had heavy use so I think I think it will clean up nicely and I think it's going to work. I'm really quite pleased with that. It was one of those things I bought, I thought, oh, as soon as I bought it, I, regret, I regretted it. Because with eBay, you, you know, you don't know what you're buying sometimes. The picture, the picture for this, there was only one picture shown and it wasn't a very good picture. But I took a chance. Um, yes, I took a chance on you, didn't I? Take a chance, take a chance, take a chance. But you're not all alone now, and the pretty birds may have flown, but you found a new home inside this nut house, and you're going to be in very good company. So there we go, that's unboxed, and um, I'm one happy chappy. Whether I'm as happy when I've put a plug on and tried it out, who's to say? But, as I said, I'd be very, very surprised if this doesn't purr like a kitten when I switch it on. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe and you'll be updated every time I upload a new floor care video. I don't just do old girls like this. I do modern vacuums, sort of fairly modern you know, from the 90s onwards. But I also do up-to-date machines that you can buy in the shops now. But this one is a, a very old lady. But very well preserved. So, until the next time, I'll see you very soon. And uh, don't forget, check my channel out. Lots of videos on there. If you like vacuum cleaners, you'll find over 400 videos that uh, you might enjoy looking at. See you soon. And thanks for watching.